Good morning. I was glad when they say, let's go to the house of the Lord. Welcome. It's a beautiful morning. It's a beautiful day. To our visitors, welcome. To our members, welcome. But specifically to our visitors, this is the way that we have throughout the whole year. So, you are getting the best. Um, I just want to welcome everyone to this service this morning. And I just want to remind us that as we come to worship God, we want to know each other on a personal level. So as a church, there are some let, let's get acquitted cards behind. You can pick them up to our returning and to our visitors. Please write so that we can be able to know and you can drop these cards in the offering basket so that we can get to know you. You know, we're going to spend eternity together in heaven. Amen? Amen. And we better start knowing each other and get a bit of a head start while we are still on this earth. So please fill those cards and so that we get to know each other very well. A church which does not pray is a dying church. We may have some unsaid prayers, some unsaid requests, some said requests, or some things which are challenging us on a daily basis. We do have a prayer group which prays literally every day, and Karen is our leader. And there's a prayer tree out there, so to our visitors, to the students, if you are praying for what is going to happen next year or what is going to happen, we can continue to pray for you. Prayer doesn't, you don't have to be in that locality, so you can write a card, leave it, and we'll be praying for you. You know that Shaili's church, as you travel, it will be praying, it will be praying for you. Today we have a very special welcome, special welcome to the Southern Adventist University, Win Siphoni. Uh, and their lovely director, Elder Ken, we welcome you to our, to our service today. And we pray that you know, God may bless you. Our own Mario is going to be joining them in our service. So again, like I said, whatever we are doing here, we are doing in preparation for heaven. We come together as a family. Southern University and Shealis come together as a family. That's what we will all be doing in heaven. Amen. And today we have our first reading of transfer for Jacob Moss today. And we'll have a second reading and a vote next Sabbath. If you haven't met him yet, please give him a, well, a, a big welcome to, to the family. And we we'll also welcome Jack and Beth and Andrew. And if you really also want to join our family, like I've keep on repeating this, if you want to join our family, there are cards and we'll be very, very happy to 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 conduct you and to, to be together. Um, during the week, an email was sent in with the list of the nominating committee. If you didn't get that list by a great, sound, by a great cloud of witness, let us lay aside every weight and every sin which easily enses us, and let us run with endurance the rest that is set before us. Looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith, who for the joy that is set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and he sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. For consider him who endured such hostility for sinners against him, lest you become weary, discouraged in your souls. I will invite the church to stand as we sing hymn 616, Soldiers of Christ Arise.
praise you this morning and as we listen to this praise and song we hope that our hearts will be lifted and drawn closer to you as we contemplate your love for we ask it all in Jesus name amen, amen. we are moving into the next stage of our worship and service but I'm truly tempted to say I'm really enjoying already the worship we are having today. The closest we went to Southern, um, uh, Southern Adventist University was when we moved into the United States and we were considering a position to where to work. My wife got a calling to come and try to teach at that university. We ended up ending up in Shehelis. But that was about 22 years ago. Maybe I, if we had joined, we could have been singing Mercy with, uh, with uh, that will happen in heaven only. Anyway, uh, our offering um, today is going to be slightly different. We're going to ask the children to go to the back and pick up their baskets and collect the offering as, as, as usual. And we are not going to have a children's story. So as they collect the offering, they then just go and, you know, put up uh, the offering. Pam will give them some uh, things they're going to use during um, the, the service. During the time the children are collecting the offerings, the deacons are also going to be collecting the offering for us. We really want to give enough time for worship for our visiting group. Let's bow our heads as we pray. Heavenly Father, we just want to thank you for the moment and the time you've given us to worship in tithe and offering. We want to thank you for the privilege which is ours to return that which is yours. Bless us in Jesus' name I pray, amen.
testing. Good morning. Good morning, good morning. My name is Enrique Vado. I am the associate pastor here at your local church. We want to say welcome again because there's not enough welcomes that we can give you. Welcome, 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 welcome. Uh, we want to say hello to those watching us online too. And we are very, very honored today to be able to have, I, I did that on purpose, see, the Southern Adventist uh, University Symf Wind Symphony. I know that they have been on the road for some time. If you check on, let me pull it out. If you check the program really quick, how many of you have it? Raise it. If you don't have it and you want one, just raise your hand and someone will just run and grab it and give it to you. I don't know if they should run though. I want you, I want you to see the first page. Let me know when you get there. Are you there? How many places have they been? How many? 11. 11. And what's the last location that they're going to be at? It's truly an honor for, for us to be able to host them and for, for, them to, for us to be able to hear the last performance of the year. Thank you guys for coming. Truly, truly an honor. Before we begin and before we let them uh, just uh, lead the worship today, I want to read a verse, a, re a verse that I read last time when we had a concert and my friend really liked it. So I'm going to read it to you. The Word of God says in 2 Chronicles 5, verse 13, And it was the duty of the trumpeters and singers to make themselves heard in unison in praise and thanksgiving to the Lord. And when the song was raised with trumpets and cymbals and other musical instruments in praise to the Lord, there's something important that happened. They were saying, For He is good. For his steadfast love endures forever. And the house, the house of the Lord was filled with the cloud. So that the priests could not stand to minister because to, of the cloud. For the glory, and this is the important line right here. For the glory of the Lord filled the house of God. Amen. Amen. I don't know about you, but I want this today. I want to ask God to fill this room, to fill this place with his presence. Let us pray. Father, as we, as we are about to witness a beautiful program, as we are about to witness the talents and the gifts that you have given uh, this group, as we worship your name, God, let your presence, let your spirit fill this room. Let your presence and your spirit move through our hearts and minds. Touch us today, God. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Beautiful Tennessee, which is not the same as beautiful Northwest. Many of our students had not been to the Northwest before. <clears throat> In fact, one young man told me he'd never been east or west of Mississippi before we got on the plane and flew out here. And uh, you have a whole bunch of, of potential citizens here that are, are ready to come in and swell your ranks even bigger. But we have had a, a tremendous time, and it is an honor to be, to be here at Chehalis and to finish up our time together um, in this church. As was mentioned, Mario is joining us. It's wonderful to have him. One of our trumpet players returned home yesterday to attend his brother's academy graduation services this weekend, so we had an opening, and I knew Mario to be a fantastic player, so he's making a great contribution. Also joining us over here is Mr. Anthony Neely. Mr. Neely is a teacher at Portland Adventist Elementary School and uh, filling in a tenor sax for us, and he is a Southern alumnus. So it's uh, especially wonderful to have him with us. And I understand that there are some people here with connections to Southern. Who, anybody here who was a graduate of Southern Adventist University? Fantastic, we've got some. Super, that's great. As the pastor mentioned, uh, there is a program in your bulletin. I would encourage you to, to read through the program notes as we go. I think it will make the program more meaningful for you, especially the piece, Lamb of God. This is a very intense, dramatic piece that I think will be more meaningful for you as you read, you'll be able to follow the story and being what's 
in what is being presented. It is based on an ancient hymn, Christian hymn, Victime Pascale Laudis, that if we had grown up in the Catholic faith tradition or Episcopal, we would probably know. But as Protestants, we're not as familiar with this. So before we play that piece, we will be, uh, we'll hear that, that melody played by our English horn player, Tristan Ramey. And um, so that will precede the playing of that piece. But let's get started. was made flesh and dwelt among us. We beheld his glory, the glory as of the only begotten Father, full of grace and truth.
Behold, what manner of love the Father has given us that we should be called children of God.
He shall feed his flock like a shepherd, and he shall gather the lambs with his arm and carry them in his bosom and gently lead those that are with young. All ye that are labor, that labor, come unto him. Ye that are heavy laden, and he will give you rest. Take his yoke upon you and learn of him, for he is meek and lowly of heart, and ye shall find rest unto your souls.
Behold the Lamb of God that taketh away the sins of the world. Surely he bore our pain and bore our suffering, yet we considered him punished by God, stricken by him and afflicted. But he was pierced for our transgressions, he was crushed for our iniquities. The punishment that brought us peace was on him, and by his wounds we are healed. We all, like sheep, have gone astray. Each one of us has turned to our own way, and the Lord has laid on him the iniquity of us all. He was oppressed and afflicted, yet he did not open his mouth. He was led like a lamb to the slaughter, and as a sheep before its shearers is silent, so he did not open his mouth. Behold the Lamb of God, that taketh away the sins of the world.
Hallelujah. For the Lord God omnipotent reigneth. The kingdom of this world has become the kingdom of our Lord and of his Christ. And he shall reign forever and ever.
Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. We had church today again. What a blessing. Thank you so much. Thank you, everyone. I know that when I look at, I was looking at your names, and when I was looking over them, I know that there's, there's people that are proud of you. Uh, there are family, friends that are proud of you. And especially you have a father, a heavenly father, that is proud of you and that he loves you deeply. Every time that I was listening to each piece, that's what came to my heart. We have a Father, a Heavenly Father that loves us, and He loves us deeply. Friends, for our benediction, I want to share one more verse. And I do invite you to stay for fellowship afterwards. There's, been, there's a group of people that have been uh, working diligently to prepare delicious food today. I want to read to you as we finish, and I invite you to stand with me if you can. One more verse. And this verse is found in 2 Thessalonians. Verses from 16 to 17. And I think he goes along with this. The word of God says, Now may our Lord Jesus Christ himself and God our Father, who loved us and gave us eternal hope, comfort and good hope through grace, comfort your hearts and establish them in every good work and word. Whatever the Lord placed in your heart as he's leading your life, I hope you remember today. I hope you share the love that he has given you. Let us pray. Father, as we have, as we have been blessed this morning, as we listen to each piece, as, as we felt the, the, the pain even, in, 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 as they were creating that image for us, God, we can only say thank you to you and, and praise you for all that you have done since the beginning of this world. Since the beginning of it all, even before that, you thought of us. You desired the best for us. And you have loved us. And you continue to love us, God. I want to say thank you for, for the Wind Symphony and everyone involved, God. Thank you so much for giving them the talents and the gifts. And help us to carry on this hope, the hope of your salvation. Help us to share that love, the love of your of your grace and redemption with other people. And help us to connect with one another as we join and, 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 and eat and rejoice in your presence, Father. Thank you again for all that you have done, for all that you are doing, and for all that you will do. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. You may be seated.